Hello, and welcome back to Factory Atlantis. The territory must grow. Um, so, in between episodes, as you can probably tell, I have been expanding out the tiled area, the railed area. A um, couple of things. First of all, um, here's a north marker. There's a corresponding south marker, west, east. So those are the compass points roughly centered on spawn. Spawn is around here somewhere, I think. Yeah, I think it's in the middle of this. Um, these are the grids which are, which contain spawn. I'm not going to say they're on spawn, but they contain spawn. Um, they're grid aligned actually. So anyway, forget about that. So that's roughly where we should be going. And because the rails are based around twists and turns, so there are twist cells and turn cells, um, it makes sense to do a diamond going around this way. Okay, except until recently I wasn't following that plan. And most importantly, I wasn't down here because this is our first mother load of iron ore. So <laughs> you can see it's uh, quite a small patch, but it's 69 million. So this will be our reliable iron source for a while. And I, just for the sake of it, I'm going to clear off um, everything in this cell. Oh, yeah, here we are. Let's see if we can get that cleared. Um, at the same time, I'm going to shut down Facebook so it does not bing. There we are. Um, so that's getting cleared off. Now, the other thing that's going on is I extended down here to get this coal, and this is 78 million of coal. We need coal for two things. First of all, we need coal for military science. Secondly, if I click on one of these, you can see our power is about 180 megawatt. It can peak at about 200 megawatt. However, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boilers. These are fully running. These are fully running. These are not. Okay, and the reason they're not is because we're getting less, <laughs> we're not getting a full belt, basically. We're not getting a full belt because we're not getting full petroleum products. We're not getting full petroleum products because frankly, we're not getting enough raw oil. All right, and so far, I have not discovered any oil. Um, I've been looking, there's uranium. Right, so I'm parked on some uranium, um, which now I can't get, but it's about four million uranium. Uh, so I have never needed nuclear power before in a playthrough. I've always gone directly from burners to solar. But there is just no way that I can put down solar here um, sensibly. Every solar panel, every accumulator that goes down needs to have a um, platform underneath it. And that's just a vast amount of building. It's not only manufacturing, but also placing with bots. So, you know, for every single solar panel that goes down, I need nine pieces of platform to go underneath it. So while if I was in the megabase stage, that would be practical, it is not practical now. So what I'm left with is burners, but I have not got the oil to support that, or uranium, and I haven't unlocked the tech for that. Um, one of the entertaining things that happened um, Sorry. One of the entertaining things that happened in between seeing you and you coming back uh, was that I put out loads of build orders and all the bots flew. The bots all needed recharging. They ate all 
the electricity to the point where we couldn't make any more solid fuel and the base died. Salutary lesson. Um, rather than wait 20 hours for it to recover, I um, killed that version of the game and loaded from an earlier save. What else has been going on? Oh yes, um, we've met some natives. Okay, so, so far we have only got spitters. Um, I'm going to undelete this stuff. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so far we only have spitters. Uh, but there are enough, they will two-shot um, a drone and um, they will three-shot me. Medium spitters eat me. So uh, I've been building around them to an extent, because there's some on this island. We need to research military to have the firepower to be able to tackle them. Okay, so there we, there we are. This is just all building out gently. This is now clear. Okay, so I think what we need to do today, or at least start to do, is um, we need to set up this coal mine. We need to do that whatever. We need it for military and we need it for power. So I think the deal will be set up this coal mine, um, maybe loaded onto one train, maybe loaded onto two trains, I'm not sure. Um, and um, then we're going to put it into the train supply manager network. We have a parking place for it here. And then we're going to have a um, train station around here somewhere. I'm not sure the best place. Um, so this is solid fuel out. So I'm, I may put a, I'm not sure, may put a, put a station in here. Um, we'll have to figure out how to do that with the belts and the pipes. I may have to reroute these pipes around here. I was originally planning to put, to move the refinery complex into this square. But anyway, we need to drop off coal here. Then I'm going to do some uh, priority splitters to merge coal into these lines to backfill them with coal. Now, coal will not go all the way up to the end of here alone, but it should supply the backup we need to keep the whole thing running. Um, it might it might be possible if I rejig this to drop off coal this side. Actually, that might work. Anyway, so that's that's a job. For today so the first thing is I want to put down coal mining so let's head over oh, this is right a hovercraft mod maker there's a bug get stuck on things so let's head over here see if we can find it Okay, off we go. Um, this is the island. Is it the island? Or is this a different island? Yep, this is the island. Wonderful. So I can park. Okay, so I have a hundred mining drills, which I think is probably enough. Right, I don't want my bots to clear this. Um, and I've only been clearing cells that I'm actually using, if you see what I mean. I haven't gone through and cleared all the cells for all the islands. Um, wow, that looks really cool. All right, so let's turn my bots back on. Uh, we're going to have to do some... We'll have to mine out this half. We need to make sure that we mine against the... Um, Let's get some platform. Do I have... I should have one stack of platform. It stacks to 1k. Okay, so there we are. Alright, so let's head down here. Hmm. Let's make this a lot smaller. 
All right. Okay. So let's grab our blueprint for this. And I'm hoping that we end up with plenty of lines coming out here because then I might be able to support two rail stations. All right. So how big is this? So most of this can be done with a single stamp, I think. Um, with just a couple of extra drills there. Ah, I need this to go tight up. Yeah. Okay, that's how we're going to do it then. Um, there we go. Okay, we don't need these because they're not on anything. For now, I'm pretty safe standing on water. Put this in and then we'll prune back in a moment. Am I out of platform? No, it's a case of bots being silly. All right, so that can come out. We don't need that. Good. Um, then All right, I think that's right. So we don't need those two. Okay, so then um, as you can see, we need every single tile we can get. Uh, these grids have redundant power connections, so if one is in the way or two are in the way, we can survive that. All right. So that would be the. That would be there. Okay, those platforms will come in, apparently. Okay, I wish the blueprints actually stuck. Um, over the tiles. Okay, that can go. Uh, I haven't really got used to using the new quick bar. I know it's been around for a while now, but um, it's just one of those weird things new and different. Right, am I re Yeah, I am requesting belts and things, so they'll be coming in very slowly from the other side of the map. Okay, let's have a look. Where's that happening? Okay, here. So, things are dying. And why are they dying? Presumably because a robot decided to fly here. Why did they decide to fly there? They're logistics bots. So they're collecting... Ah, oh, well. 
they'll learn their lesson or we'll learn it for them. Right, how many outputs do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven is like eight for suitable values. Um, however, how many mining drills do we have? Um, Hundred and thirty-ish. Um, so you need thirty for each yellow belt. Thirty, sixty, ninety, one, twenty. So we can fill four belts, and that's before we've put down the extra few mining drills. So four belts is what you need to load up one train with a belt dedicated to each carriage. Fly, fly faster! Oh, and then it went to recharge. Grief. Now it's sending out more. Right. Um, that's silly. Let's go to water trash. We're going to cancel stone from the trash. Put it back there. <laughs> they should then stop. All right. So these busy work bees are coming in, putting down floor. Does this mean I can now down a bit more mining. Yeah, I think so. All right, so I think that can go down. That can go down. That. Okay, don't need that. Um, can this go now? Yeah, it can. And here. Great. All right. So let's count how many drills are on here. 18. So in total, that is 29, which will be up to 30, just over 30 by the time it's finished. So we can merge these two in. This is gonna have to now happen with rover ports off. Um, right, how many are incoming? Zero. Zero incoming because I'm not within logistics. All right. So that is the first one dealt with. How many are incoming now? 100. And I think when I'm doing building jobs, I need more than 100 belts to be able to do this on my own. All right, so that's all coming in and being built. Um, let's run down here. Oh, am I now out of logi range? Yes, I am. <sighs> Grief. All right, so. That was there, so then that goes there. Yep, we don't need that or that. Or, yeah, we need that one. That all looks pretty good. We can take back this platform here. Right, are these on the way? Yep, they are. All right, is there any way I can improve 
logistics cover here. Yeah. I'm going to do is copy that, exit, sorry, and then put it back, see if my bots will build it. No, they won't. Right. Is there... This is annoying. Um, all right, so... That's ghosted in there. If I count how many drills are over here, that's 31. So I can merge these two in. Then once they're merged, that means we have, all right, I think all my building is now gonna happen somewhere in the middle. So I'm gonna stand in the middle by this rover port. We have a blueprint that didn't fully go down here. That's better. Okay, so we are gonna need some platform. Um, upgrade that. Yep, I can safely go in there. Okay, then we need a bit of platform to fill in that spec. Whoops. Okay, and then that. So that gives us one One, two, three, four, five outputs. One, four, seven, one, fifty. So we can actually support five belts, but belts, five belts is useful to nobody. Um, maybe I should stick this through an eight to four splitter. Um, and then at least things will pull evenly. Or I could do an 8 to 8 and then send it out. Yeah, I'm going to do an 8 to 8, send it out to two stations. Okay, so let's... All right. so take this away. Okay, then I'm going to go quickly to Factorio Prints and find an 8 to 8 splitter. Okay, so I'm doing that on another screen. Um, so this says H28 universal. I have no idea what that means. Show blueprint. Uh, no, that doesn't look like a want, what I want. So let's... Um, so, for those of you who have not seen this before, Factorio Prints is a website that hosts Blueprints. Uh, so, uh, Blueprints. And I want to search. Okay. Whoop. Um... Where on earth is the search button? Let's try this once more, see if we get... Hmm, things don't look quite right. Um, right, and I'm looking...
looking for a search. So what do we have here? Um, eight to eight, yellow. Um, there's two of them, short left, short right. Let's have a look at this one. Copy to clipboard. Right, then you go to import string, paste that in, and that gives you a blueprint book. Okay, so it looks like this is based upon whether there's an extra gap to the left or the right. So I'm going to put this down, and that's as good a place as any, I think. Perhaps that's better. All right, so then I'm gonna wire these in. Okay. So it's quite common to see these splitters set up um, with a gap of two tiles in the middle. The reason is uh, for bus base bases, uh, you often leave a gap of two tiles to allow undergrounds to sneak through. Right, so I'm safe down here, I think. This is a bit of a painful way to do things. Okay, and we are only feeding in seven belts. There we go. Sorry, I'm running a little bit over time on this. So that should be able to pull in all of this. It is not powered, apparently. Um, and why is this having a skits? Oh, auto trash at 100. OK. Um, that was stupid. All right, so power this up. And then power this up. There we go. And there's a blinking light there because we're missing a power pole that will get filled in one day. So we have eight lanes. Eight yellow lanes coming out. But we're going to feed two train stations with this, but that's going to be a job for next time. So until then, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.